Oakley, she, so isn't it ironic that some of the very same people who castigated Kaepernick for disrespecting the military when he took a knee, but being disrespectful to our military, mm -hmm. now uh, turn the other way while uh, a military Purple Heart recipient is being disrespected. Isn't it funny how they malign Cap, Colin Kaepernick, and said that his uh, taking a knee was disrespectful, but lying and smearing uh, and, and eroding the reputation of a man who has served his country for almost 30 years, a man who left, uh, uh, you know, left uh, uh, a terrorist, well, left a country that was full of tyranny, came here and from, from two years old has been serving America. Isn't it funny how you will say that Cap has been disrespectful, but you have no problem tearing down a man's entire reputation from calling him out of his name to saying that he's a liar, to saying that he's all but a traitor. Isn't it funny? Isn't it funny how you say that Colin Kaepernick is disrespecting the military, but you pardon people that the military told you not to? You pardon war criminals. Like the, the cat that you pardon in San Diego, the military is kicking him out of the seals. So you love the military. America loves the military. Isn't it funny how America loves the military but allows almost 60, 40 to 60% of the homeless population to be ex-military? Isn't it funny how America's concern, or particular Donald Trump, is concerned about corruption, yet he can source with the, with the uh, prime minister, from, the president from Turkey, uh, very corrupt, the president, uh, Putin, very corrupt. You can't get more corrupt than uh, North Korea. So isn't it funny how all the things that you say that he's against, he's for when it suits his purposes. Isn't it funny how he's against uh, Biden's son making money off the vice presidency, but not against his children making money off the presidency. His son-in-law tried to sell meetings with Trump for half a million dollars. They opened up all kinds of business. They tried to have the G7 at a property that was that is bed bug ridden. <laughs> right now, Donald Trump right now is using the power, power of the presidency to sell his son's shitty book. Either we believe in America where the rule of law prevails or we do not. What is clear from all the testimony, whether you talk to the, like I was hearing uh, Devin Nunez, and Nunez must be Mexican or uh, Spanish for dipshit, but um, I, I was hearing him talking about the importance of the, the, uh, bringing the whistleblower forward. The, the reason they want the whistleblower forward is for the same reason uh, that they uh, tried to attack uh, Ambassador Yovanovitch, the same reason they've tried to att att attack the, the lieutenant colonel, they want to intimidate them and they want to destroy them. And some pe and they want them to feel physically threatened for their lives. Here is the thing, either America will be a, a place where the rule of law exists or it does not. Bribery, just because you try to bribe somebody because you're not successful, that doesn't mean you didn't attempt it. He attempted to do it. That money only got released when he got word that the Congress was on to him and there were going to be an investigation. He held up money that had already been appropriated by the Congress for no reason other than his own purposes. And let's be clear. If he truly believed that Biden or his son, were, Joe Biden's son, were involved in something, his, the chain of command should have been took it to, his, to our investigative services and then to theirs. He should have never been involved at all. And if you were truly worried about corruption, why was the ass that you give a speech and open an investigation on the news? Let people know that you did it. You know why? Because you have always won by sleight of hands and Republicans have always let you do it. They let you, well, Hillary Clinton, they're investigating her and lo and behold, they did. Uh, if, they, if they were successful in open uh, uh, investigation on Biden, that all would have been, that would have been all he said. Look at their investigator. It's always sleight of hands. The bottom line is, if you hate corruption, you hate it now. If you hate people who disrespect the military, you hate it now. If you hate people who malign service, uh, people who have given service to the United States of America, you hate it now. If you don't, if you don't hate it, and you only hate it when it suits your purposes, you're not really an American. You're a Trump supporter. That's a little note from the GED section. We got the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. It's the D.L. Hughley Show.